What's going on guys? It's been a while. Now I had recently rearranged my room, moving my fourth movie shelf and bringing it along, putting it next to the other three movie shelves. Now I think it's time for a mini tour and an up-to-date video of my complete DVD and Blu-ray collection. On this wall I have my TV game consoles slash entertainment area and my guitars, record player, amp and my little bar area. Work my way in over here to the movies. All right guys, so here's the new setup. The fourth shelf, right along the other three shelves. Now, let's get into it. So this first shelf, I'm gonna have Blu-rays at the top. Criterions, martial arts, musical and documentary, and on the bottom, TV series. So my collection's gonna start with one HD DVD of The Matrix Experience. Then it's gonna get into my Arrow videos. And I have one from Kilo Lorber, Ryhead Rex. Then it gets into my Screen Factory. This Nightbreed three disc set probably has to be my favorite. This is the one that comes with the poster, as do most Screen Factories, but I do have this one with the poster. This pretty rare three disc Director's Cut limited edition of Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Work my way through the rest of the Screen Factories. Come on down here. I got some more Screen Factories, Shout Factories, and all the Vestron videos. Chopping Mall, Blood Diner, Waxwork 1 and 2, Return of the Living Dead 3, Chud 2, Bud the Chud, Layer of the White Worm, Parents the Gate, the Wishmaster Collection, The Unholy, The Warlock Collection, Slaughter High, Gothic, Class of 1999, Beyond Reanimator and Dagon 1 through 16. I am waiting for number 17, which is Maximum Overdrive. Then I have Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell, which I do have autographed on the inside from Michael Gross, aka Burt Gummer. 976 Evil, Wolf Cop, Jodorowsky's Dune, awesome documentary. Then I have the other Dune. Here in the corner, I'm gonna have Turbo Kid and The Death of Superman Lives. What happened? Directed and autographed by the late John Schnepp. Then I'm gonna have all my Target exclusives. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Deadpool 2, Logan, Spider-Man, Homecoming, Thor, Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, and my steelbooks. I also have another steelbook up here, HP Lovecraft's Bride of Reanimator. Of course I have that one with my Arrow video collection. Now let's get into my Criterion collection. Let me move this St. Arnold Brewery candle. Move these up top. The first one is gonna be the Silence of the Lambs, The Blob, Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom. Awesome movie to watch for Christmas or with the rest of the family. Got Sid and Nancy, Armageddon, Rushmore, The Last Temptation of Christ, Chasing Amy, which is autographed by Miss Joey Lauren Adams, and by J. Muse, Snoochie Boochies, Sexy, Gimme Shelter, The Royal Tenenbaums, Monterey Pop, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Videodrome, The Life Aquatic, Days of Confused, Bottle Rocket, House. Crazy Japanese movie right here. Highly recommend this one. I believe this one inspired The Evil Dead. So I recommend you guys check this one out if you guys haven't already. Antichrist. Easy Rider. One of my favorite, has to be all-time favorite biker movies. Stars Peter Fonda, Dennis Hopper, and Jack Nicholson. Then I got my Guillermo del Toro box set, which includes Kronos, The Devil's Backbone, and Pan's Labyrinth. Blowout, 12 Angry Men, Godzilla, Rosemary's Baby, Repo Man, 310 to Yuma, Scanners, The Rose, The Brood, Lady Snowblood 1 and 2, Fantastic Planet, Punch Drunk Love, John Waters, Multiple Maniacs, The Breakfast Club. This one was a random movie that Criterion chose to put out. Don't understand why, but... It's a good movie, awesome movie. One of my favorite John Hughes movies, The Breakfast Club. Then the two at the end, they were hiding in the shadows. George Romero's Night of the Living Dead and Midnight Cowboy. Along with these two, they were at the top. John Waters' Female Trouble and Michael Moore's Bowling for Columbine. Starting with my martial art movies, it's gonna begin with Bruce Lee, this five movie collection, which includes The Big Boss, AKA The Chinese Connection, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, AKA The Return of the Dragon, Game of Death and Game of Death 2. Then I have a few Chuck Norris movies. 
some Jackie Chan movies, and Jet Li, Jean-Claude Van Damme's Kickboxer, Steven Seagal's Under Siege, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Iron Monkey 2, got a couple Donnie Yen's, then a few with Tony Jaa, The Protector 1 and 2, Ong Bak 1, 2 and 3, Kill Zone 2 and Paradox. Once Upon a Time in Shanghai, Ninja Assassin, Brotherhood of Blades 1 and 2, Big Trouble in Little China, The Karate Kid Box Set, The Last Dragon, Three Ninjas, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, Mortal Kombat Legacy, Street Fighter and Tekken, Katsuya's Revenge. Next up, musical, music based, biopics, live concerts and documentaries. Gonna start with Singing in the Rain, West Side Story and The Sound of Music. Work my way on through the biopics and some music based. Tommy, that's a badass movie. Pink Floyd's The Wall, Rock and Roll High School, Sid and Nancy, Godspell, Jesus Christ Superstar. Phantom of the Paradise, one of my favorite movies of all time. Saturday Night Fever and its shitty sequel, Staying Alive. Down here I have, well, I actually have two of them, so. The Leather Jacket Cover 2, Grease, Urban Cowboy, Purple Rain, Footloose, The Remake, Dirty Dancing, SLC Punk, Punk's Dead, SLC Punk 2, Spinal Tap, Crossroads, Labyrinth, Pure Country, Selena, Spice World, Straight Outta Compton, Tupac, All Eyes On Me, Notorious, 8 Mile, La La Land, still think that one should have won for Best Picture, Give Me Shelter, now we're getting into the concerts. The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, Sex Pistols, The Filth and the Fury, The Sex Pistols, Never Mind the Bollocks, The Making of the Album, Sex Pistols, Sid, The Smiths, The Decline of Western Civilization Box Set Part 1, 2, and 3, Got The Mentors, Some Gigi Allen, Gorgoroth, Some Black Metal Documentaries, Metal Ahead Bangers Journey, Got Dime Vision, Iced Earth, Marilyn Manson, Cradle of Filth, Nightwish, Get Into Country, George Strait, Steve Earle, Some Michael Moore Documentaries, Bowling for Columbine, Fahrenheit 9-11, Sicko, The Big One, and Murderball, which is not a Michael Moore documentary. Next up, TV series. The Complete Gilligan's Island set. The Munsters, Dallas. This was a random one. This one came in the mail one day, uh, and I just kept it ever since. I haven't opened it, so I don't know. ALF, The Complete DVD Collection. The Complete Tales from the Crypt series. This one I have autographed by John Kazir, The Crypt Keeper. Ash vs. the Evil Dead Season 1 and 2. I need to pick up that Season 3. Those bumps. The original Tick live action series. Scrubs Season 1 and 2. A couple Tim and Eric's. Ninja Turtles. The Godzilla animated series. The original and the one from the 90s. Got a couple from Charlie Brown. Got a couple more. And Christmas classics. I used to watch as a kid. The Grinch. Frosty. Rudolph. Simpsons. I am missing some here and there. The last one I picked up was the complete 20th season from King of the Hill, the complete Duck Man, Aeon Flux, Beavis and Butthead, The Head, The Max, Daria, Jackass Volume 1, Andy Milanaka Show. I believe that's the second season. South Park, the fifth season. Spawn. Hell yeah. Topic Farland and Spawn. HBO. I got some Hellboys. And Blade, the complete series. Continuing on another shelf. Chappelle Show Season 1 and 2, Workaholics, Stranger Things, got a couple animes, Cowboy Bebop, Death Note, I'm getting into my Nickelodeon, Beetlejuice, Ren and Stimpy, The Complete Seasons 1 through 4, Raku's Modern Life, Ah, Real Monsters, Alex Mack, Hey Arnold, Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, and The Wild Thornberries. Second shelf, top tier, drama, gonna start with a back layer first. So these movies are organized by date by date in which some have won Best Picture and by actor, starting with Miracle on 34th Street from 1947. And Best Picture winners got Gone with the Wind, Lawrence of Arabia, Midnight Cowboy, The French Connection, The Sting, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, The Godfather, Working My Way Into the Al Pacino Section, and The Robert De Niro Section, Got Goodfellas, The Deer Hunter, Bronx Tale, Working My Way Into the Sylvester Stallones, The Lords of Flatbush, Nighthawks, Rambo, Rhinestone, Cobra, Over the Top, Tango and Cash, Demolition Man, The Expendables, Work My Way Into the Schwarzeneggers, Conan, The Terminator, Total Recall, Eraser, True Lies. Ending the Schwarzeneggers with Last Stand, entering Mel Gibson with Mad Max, Lethal Weapon, The Patriot, We Were Soldiers, then coming into the Bruce Willis section with Die Hard, then coming into the John Travolta movies, some more dramas, and my Nicolas Cage section. Con Air, The Rock, Snake Eyes, Gone in 60 Seconds, Wind Talkers, Lord of War, got some war movies, MASH, Platoon, Full Metal Jacket, 
my Tom Cruise movies, The Outsiders, Risky Business, Top Gun, The Color of Money, Cocktail, Rain Man, A Few Good Men, Vanilla Sky, Valkyrie, a lot more dramas, Oscar winners, Best Picture winners, Goodwill Hunting, Schindler's List, Forrest Gump, Shakespeare in Love, American Beauty. Continuing with the drama and Best Picture winners and getting into action, get The Three Kings, Gladiator, got some Leo DiCaprio movies, Catch Me If You Can, Gangs of New York, Aviator, we got Troy, big ass box set, director's cut, Blood Diamond, The Departed, Shutter Island, Milk, Gran Torino, The Wrestler, Hurt Locker, King's Speech, Inception, Zero Dark Thirty, The Person Being a Wallflower, we got my Matthew McConaughey movies right here, alright, 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 Two for the Monday, The Lincoln Lawyer, Mud, Paperboy, Dallas Buyers, Wolf of Wall Street, American Hustle, Her, Great Gatsby, Birdman, American Sniper, Dunkirk, my Alejandro Jodorowsky movies, Fando y Liz, El Topo, The Holy Mountain, Santa Sangre, my Quentin Tarantino movies, Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, Kill Bill, Volume 1 and 2, Inglourious Bastards, Django, The Hateful Eight, and Hobo with a Shotgun. Man, that's just a badass movie right there. Some more action drama, suspense and thriller, Bone Tomahawk, Snatch, Boogie Nights, Savages, Requiem for a Dream, Thank You for Smoking, The Stanford Prison Experiment, Romper Stomper, Primal Fear, American History X, This is England, Fatal Attraction, Basic Instinct, Heathers, The Crush, The Good Son, Fear, Wild Things, Jawbreaker, Cruel Intentions, and Secretary, Hackers, Snowden, Brick, A Knight's Tale, that's a badass movie, Bronson, Tom Hardy, Warrior, Spring Breakers, Got Some Natural Disaster Movies, Deep Impact, Geostorm, Twister, Perfect Storm, Poseidon, Into the Storm, Hurricane Heist, the Day After Tomorrow, then getting into some sci-fi. Continuing with the sci-fi action, drama, and fantasy, Star Trek, the 10 movie collection. Then the modern ones, Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. Getting into the Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Crawl, Masters of the Universe, Enemy Mine, Dune, All the Planet of the Apes, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, E.T., All the Indiana Jones, Cowboys and Aliens, Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049, Heavy Metal, Heavy Metal 2000, Akira, The Fifth Element, Dark City, The Matrix Trilogy, Minority Report, Ex Machina, X-Files, Powder, had this autographed by the man himself, got some Ralph Bakshi movies, Wizards, Fire and Ice, the animated Hobbit movies, the live action Hobbit movies, Lord of the Rings, Earthsea, some more fantasy, The Shape of Water, Fantastic Beasts, the Harry Potter franchise, I Kill Giants, Percy Jackson, The Hunger Game franchise, Legend, The Never Ending Story 1 and 2, and The Beastmaster. Got Lady Death, the animated motion picture, Beowulf, the director's cut, Immortals, 300, and The Highlander movies. Next up, superhero and comic book based movies. Starting with Superman, which includes Superman the Movie, Superman the Movie 2000 Expanded Edition, Superman 2, Superman 2, The Richard Donner Cut. Superman 3, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, and Superman Returns. I got Man of Steel, Batman, the Motion Picture Anthology, 1989 through 1997, which includes Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Now, the Batman 1989 motion picture, the first one, that's the first movie I ever saw in theaters when I was a little baby. 1989, I was one years old. Some more DC movies, Swamp Thing, getting into Marvel, Punisher, Howard the Duck, The Blade Trilogy, all the X-Men movies, Deadpool, Logan, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Elektra, Hulk, Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Ant-Man, Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Black Panther, Toxic Avenger. Most people don't know that that is Marvel Comics. So is Robocop and Darkman. Continuing with Kick-Ass, Hellboy, Sin City, The Crow, Aeon Flux, Spawn, Scott Pilgrim, got all the Teenage Ninja Turtle movies, Power Rangers, Chronicle. These are video game based movies, Tomb Raider, Hitman, got my John Wick movies, Kingsman. Then ending on the shelf with Speed Racer and Ready Player One. Alright guys, two shelves down, two to go. I will be turning this into a two part video. Now if I went a little too fast, well, Sometimes I tend to talk a little fast, but if you guys like this video, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and until next time guys, 